Beep. All right, boys, let's do this. First thing first, the name LUI. Secondly, the game. It is the game of top bodybuilders in IFBB. The subject is mainly about this guy right here, Dallas McCarver, aka Jason Born Alone. He made gains. So we're gonna talk about him, but real quick, let's see what's up on my social media before getting in there. This is the freaking Bob under Rolly Winkler on anabolic anabolic chicken so it is absolutely a booby gains but nonetheless in reality he still rocks pretty much the craziest arms in the business right now i mean tricep bicep brachial lees baby please are overgrown on the day lee uh, basically we'll see what's up uh i didn't have any kind of updated pictures as of yet although i'm gonna ask uh I asked her to send me some probably by tomorrow it's about time to to for me to see how what's up with him and we'll see what goes uh this uh, little baby here is absolutely to be saluted obviously doing some netflix and and train proper emulating uh sylvester stallone properly done this is good guys i mean if you have boys i mean let them watch this i mean it's absolutely proper do not think it is not significant believe me they, they start young and this this basically be uh, inbred in in their brain in a sense absolutely properly uh, saluted Talking about a, a gifted uh, gentleman here who is in his freaking zone, right? Uh, he reached that uh, cruising speed when you see him with a freaking beard and music. The music is this and that is hard rock. I think he gets that from Jay Cutler. Uh, and Jay Cutler is pretty much probably the only guy, the closest guy to him in the IFBB. Although he's not competing anymore, but I think genuinely his it's his real friend he does not have a lot of friends uh, out there right now needless to say uh, let's not beat around the bush uh, Phil Heath the current Mr. Olympia five times in a row most likely to be uh, six times in a row is an arrogant mofo Phil you watch my video I salute you on a daily bro that you are cocky and arrogant as hell but then again can he back it up can he back it up Damn right he can. He's up there, there. All eyes are on him, and you know what? The the guys running after him, they don't like him. There is no love up there, right? And it's just uh, exaggerated and blown over proportions because everything is exposed nowadays via social media. Everything he does is scrutinized and made bigger by yours truly, Louis Marco, and all the other outlets out there. Everything he says is scrutinized and basically trying to be deciphered by so-called gurus and specialists like myself, right? <laughs> yeah, jokes aside, yes, Phil Heath is a freaking cocky, arrogant mofo. Even though he shook hand with Kai Green a few months ago in the UK, I think he does not salute him and vice versa. Same goes with Dexter Jack, same goes with, with Sean Rodden. And uh, so on and so forth. Everybody's gunning for his title. Uh, bro, uh, last time I checked, it's an individual sport, right? And that's it. I mean, these guys go to go through grueling preparations with all kinds of creatines put in their body through some inhumane, inhumane torture. I mean, I'm natty. I lift weight and it's hard on my joints. These guys are supercharged. Imagine all, all the tension, all, 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 all the things that plays also in their head. Because whatever creatine they're taking, it plays on your freaking psyche, bro. You know the thing starts with T and there are That is not made for human. It's not even made for humans. These guys must take it. They cannot roll only with, with, the, with, with test, right? It's not sufficient. It never was sufficient. It's not even sufficient for physique, guys. So imagine these top guys what they have to take. So of course it's going to be hard on their physique and in their mental, plus all the pressure that our, we are basically putting uh, on, on their shoulders. So yes, Phil Heath is a freaking cocky, uh, arrogant mofo. But you know what? Deal with it. It's a known fact, right? He reached the top. Can he afford to be like that? In my book, yes. That it is what it is. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to... Basically, sugar could it. No, he's a cool guy, whatever. Phil Heath is an arrogant, cocky champion. But that is a champion that comes after that arrogance and cockiness. It is what it is. I'm sorry, guys. He backs it up. 
I mean, what he says is kind of harsh. It's kind of direct. It's kind of in your face. He said, line them up. I slay them all. Just like freaking sheep. I slay them all. Bring them. Just like bring it. It is what it is. Like a combat sport. Right? And Kai Gui, last time I checked, he's not there. So if all goes well, if he does it, I'm sorry. The very metrics of the other guys cannot beat him, even if they bring their A game. Last year, I was watching HD transmission with you guys, right, of Mr. Olympia. I'm hearing Palombo saying, bro, this is big for Dexter Jackson. Uh, he was saying, bro, Sean Rodden uh, is better from the side. I was like, really? What are you guys looking at? Romano was saying the same thing. But to be noted, when they were all wrong, after when they did the wrap-up, right, Romano came back. He said, bro, after all, I do believe that it is better for us to watch Mr. Olympia from home in HD. We have a better perspective. And you know what? I guess he is absolutely right. I agree. I personally, if I go to Mr. Olympia, probably I would suck. I don't have like the proper perspective. Nowadays, uh, it's better, I mean, for me, to stay away from the drama and have a proper HD, uh, basically, transmission. And you can sip your freaking uh, protein shake and have a proper perspective. It looks like you're an IFBB judge and you see what right. So that's it. If these guys bring their A game. I'm talking about these two, two top guys because I'm not going to, you know, that's not, you know, I'm not talking about... Uh, whatever, big, big, big Grammy, Big Grammy, I have him. I still have him fourth. Whatever happens, Big Grammy fourth, unless another another guy gets crippled, unless Sean Rodden shots himself in the foot or Dexter does the same thing. So that being said, Dexter and Sean are the two biggest threats right now for Phil Heath. But if these three bring their A game, I still think that Phil Heath has triple A plus. It's just he is just unbeatable in several metrics he doesn't fade at the end last year dexter was second but he was flat at the end flat he was not even funny right that's what's up uh we'll see how um, uh, how it goes but yes to answer your questions uh, phil heath is uh, absolutely cocky and he is absolutely in your face he is arrogant it is what it is but you know what deal with it can he afford to be like that in my book yes proceed haha uh shall we right uh we had this happen actually i think in the us it was in nyc right finally a freaking white guy or at least light skin i think he's light skin <laughs> was about to win a, a race actually versus three black guys next thing you know he hit a chinese a baby please on a nightly basis absolutely not to be a salute look at that she had one job she had one job. Boom. There we go. It was about to make history. A white guy beating three black guys in athletics. Absolutely not to be properly uh, saluted. Proceed, uh, shall we? This was a known video. Quite old, but still cringe-worthy. Still cringe-worthy for real. And uh, Why? Because he's being trained by a so-called uh, trainer. I'll let you be the judge. Please be seated because his back is absolutely not loyal. Level of salute is absolutely... Spinal, spinal, Mike Tyson way. Properly executed execution. That's it. Cringe worthy on a nightly, uh, bro. This uh, girl is absolutely cute. I don't know her name, but I mean, come on. She is absolutely 9.5 on 10, at least. I mean, she's just gorgeous. Uh, she played in the latest movie, as you guys know, with a Joker. I didn't know that the Joker became a Joker when he, he basically fell into like a chemical portion. So she has the same chemical composition as uh, her mate. Proceed, uh, shall we? Let's go to Persia. Salam, Hobi, you need to eat some uh, kebab Kobe day. Uh, again, a level of salute is absolutely uh, spinal. Uh, you know, I read Arabic, which is the same letters as um, as Persian, but the I mean the words are absolutely different, so I I cannot understand all of it. All I can understand is Haider uh, Amirul uh, Mu'minin. You know, the the uh, the Shia faith basically believe that Haider is 
uh, the uh, the commander of the believers. I think that Haider is the, the second name of Ali. Ali. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, this Iranian Persian guy doing some uh, dips, I guess. I presume, presumably on a nightly. Salam, Khobi. Bro, bro, Haidar, Haidar, yeah, Ali, yeah, Hussein. Proceed, shall we? In my book, bro, I absolutely salute your uh, uh, your uh, dedication, Mr. Persian. But your gains are not loyal. Your spine will not uh, salute you, uh, uh, not even slightly, not even lightly, bro. Proceed, shall we? Uh, the we have a Caucasian dude, uh, I think he was from Germany, uh, nightly, uh, doing this kind of rose in a proper uh, special fashion. <laughs> Boom! Bro, what the hell is this? Your bench is not loyal, it is oil! Oil! Not saluted, absolutely no uh, salute is bestowed uh, upon you. Talk about uh, Germany. Uh, the Olympic team actually, uh, we're not allowed to uh, to broadcast Olympic as you guys know, but for the record, Germany beat Portugal 4-0, but it's not uh, actually the teams uh, who were in the Euro, those are like, I think, um, under 21. Nonetheless, Germany is absolutely to be Merkel. Uh, talking about oil, talking about oil, this guy actually was put on the spot when he had some beef with uh, actually Boston Lloyd. My friend Boston Lloyd, I salute you. Some people call him Boston Royd. I call him Boston Oiled. Boston Oiled. Absolutely 3cc on it daily. Uh, pretty much he had some beef with them. Because as you guys know, about three years ago, Boston Lloyd came in on social media on YouTube and he started to talk about like the real stuff, all the creatines, all the vitamins and glutamines that the pros supposedly take. It was after his win in Contra Costa. Now granted, it's not an IFBB top show, but you know, it was a, you know, like a respectful, respected show in the West Coast. And, you know, it was like the first time, like in a bodybuilder, young for that matter, was like 19, speaking openly about it. And then, uh, Mr. Dallas uh, McCarver has been asked actually on a magazine, bro, what do you think about that dude, Boston Lloyd, going on social media and talking about all these chemicals and this and that? Of course, I mean, Dallas McCarver, was an upcoming prospect. Of course, he needs to be politically correct. So he did not, you know, he had to say, you know, you can achieve actually decent gains, decent physique by taking supplements, you know, powder, whey protein, and so on. So what do you expect him to do? Do this, uh, he was like 19. Of course, I'm not gonna tell you, bro, go ahead and take this and that and talk to you about the, the very details and, you know, the, the real thing. Of course not. This is a freaking magazine. You need to be like, you know, politically correct or you will destroy your career. <laughs> Next thing you know, <laughs> Boston Lloyd came back on social media. I told him, bro, your butt is oil. Your butt is oil. So he told him that basically Dallas McCarver has uh, some sinful or whatever in his butt. Because this guy is, pre ha is known to have like a very solid glute uh, development. That being said, no. I mean, his butt is not oil. His butt is absolutely uh, loyal. Anyway, uh, I'm liking Dallas McCarver, 24 years old. I'm really liking uh, him. I mean, 2.99 in this picture, 34 days out, Mr. Olympia. Uh, he looks like freaking Jason born on anabolic chicken by 10. I mean, I, I just love the prospect. And the the funny thing is, and the, the most, mm -hmm. I mean, she, the, the, the frightening thing is, he is not out of the oven uh, as of yet, not out of the oven, as of yet, not even slightly. Let's take a look at him. 299, I told you guys last week, he is a bigger version of Jay Cutler. I'm not exaggerating. I mean, look at this, 34 years, uh, two, uh, I mean, 30, whatever, 34 uh, days off Mr. Olympia, already veiny, grainy, granity already. It's just uh, solid. Definitely, definitely, he took it to a new level. He's a new breed. Uh, if uh, Dallas, if you don't have like a nickname, let me nickname you. You're the new breed. You're definitely the new breed. 
And again, you're poised to take the very title of Mr. Granite, Mr. Freaky, that that people love. You need to know that bodybuilding, the sheer bulk of you guys loving bodybuilding, the raw fans, the diehard fans are bigorexia infested, infected dudes. Let's be honest about it. Let's be honest about it. Let's not beat around the bush. You gym bros, you guys who basically book tickets and hotel and spent two thousand to three thousand dollars on Olympia weekend gambling in Las Vegas. You guys are diehard fans. You love big guys. It started back in the day with 1993 version of Dorian Yates, and then uh, it was taken to Nasser El Sambari 1995. Now, Sarah, where he was entering Mr. Olympia stage, even though his back was not loyal, but since he was the biggest, the, mis, uh, the, the most granity, you guys were screaming, Nasser, Nasser, Nasser. And then it went to rule, rule. You love big guys. You just love them, right? We all love, we say, oh, bro, Flex Wheeler or whatever, Sean Ray, they have aesthetics. But at the end of the day, the hardcore fans, damn you guys, you love freak. <laughs> This guy is bringing it, talking about freakiness, and he's not out of the oven as of yet. Tell you that much, right? Tell you that uh, much. Absolutely uh, to be uh, saluted. I think he's being taken care of by this gentleman right here, Mr. Aaron uh, uh, Singermer. He hit me up today, right? So we'll stay in touch. I think he's like his mentor. Uh, so he's in good hands. He's in good hands, and he's poised to be groomed. Uh, as a serious, serious uh, uh, prospect. Uh, one other thing, bro. Uh, you know, uh, you know. I guess he knows what's up. He's already up there. Uh, if I have only one advice to give him, is to be politically correct. He cannot afford to be arrogant or cocky if he's not Mr. Olympia. If you win two titles, meaning you win Mr. Olympia first, and then you confirm the next year, right? You do it again. You defend your title properly, then you can afford to come on social media and bust everybody's balls because you deserve it. You earn that, right? Absolutely uh, uh, to be uh, saluted. Uh, what do we have in front of him? We have Justin Compton. Justin is another prospect. Uh, pictures of him are rather scarce right now. Uh, Justin is 28, I think. Although his face gains make him look 38. Uh, proper gains, but he is also a prospect uh, up there. He has more followers, 193, because he has been competing uh, uh, under the uh, spotlight a little bit longer, but no post of him uh, so far. He's being secretive, but make no mistake, this guy is a huge mofo as well. So he is part of what I call the trinity, the holy trinity of prospect. The other guy, the third guy, being my friend Mr. Nathan Diasha. See here, only 63,000 uh, followers so far. Believe me, it will go up. It will go up. Now, Nathan nicknamed his na uh, himself as uh, the prophecy. I call him the prodigy, right? This guy is down in Kuwait. So, better to know that everything he consumes is pretty much chicken, anabolic chicken. The purest thing. The purest. Day in, day out. So, there is no toxicity, no heavy metal, freaking poisoning. So the very fibers he's fabricating every day are just pure muscle, pure, 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 every day, right? He moved from the UK, right? The first world country, he went to the Middle East. Why? Because the money there is oil. Their money is oil, but the gains are loyal. Two different things. Do not get it confused. I love the very purity of his muscle. Everything is just clean. He looks healthy, right? That's the difference. If you guys go ahead and buy from your gym guru, uh, from your pusher, you buy some creatine that is made in a hot tub. You don't know what kind of freaking heavy metals it have, what kind of defects it have. You will grow sick. You will develop more acne. Your body try to reject that freaking toxicity from the skin more than anybody else. Whereas if you are in Kuwait, pretty much everything is clean. Everything grows uh, properly. Uh, so that's what's up. This is what I call the holy... Uh, uh, Trinity, we'll see what's up. They're groomed right now. In my book, take it from me right now, 2016, one of these three guys will have a Sandow uh, quite soon. Most likely after the reign of Phil Heath. Why not? Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video. And one last shot of, of uh, Mr. Uh, Borner Lawn. He is just proper. Uh, if you have an exercise eye, you will recognize this guy is not even out of the oven as of yet. 
This sweep of the triceps will get even better, get more curvy. Same goes with the very belly of, of the bicep and everything will get uh, bigger. It's already diced at 299. That's huge. That's pretty much almost 30 pounds over Jay Cutler, almost at the same condition. I'm not even exaggerating, right? That's what's up. Salute you wherever you is on a nightly basis. Don't forget to like the video. I'll be waiting for your comment. Subscribe to the LUI, bro. Don't miss me on this Mr. Olympia because I will be on top of my game thanks to you guys.